Let's say I gave you three pieces of spaghetti, and you tried to make a triangle out of them. So I'm going to say that this piece of spaghetti is 10 inches long, this piece right here is 3, and this piece right here is 6. Does it look like we're going to be able to make a triangle out of this? It looks like we don't quite have enough to close that arch. Let's say, however, instead of 3 and 6, let's say I gave you pieces that were 3 and 7. Then we would just have a straight line, because there's no way for us to form an angle there. What we're talking about here are triangle inequalities, which means if you look at a triangle, there's a special relationship between those three sides. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. If you started at point A, what's going to be the fastest way to go to point C? Is it going to be to walk to point B and then point C? Or is it just going to be faster to go from point A to point C? Well, pretty clearly, you're just going to walk straight to point C. But how does this look in terms of relationships? Well, we can say that line segment AB, or side AB, plus side BC must be greater than your third side AC. So what that's saying is that going straight from one point to another is going to be shorter or less than the sum of the other two sides. You could write two other inequalities. We could start with AB and go with our side AC and say AC has to be greater than your third side, which is BC. And last, you could write your last inequality, which would say side AC plus side BC has to be greater than your side AB. So in essence, you always have to make sure that two of your sides summed will be more than the third side, which is why we couldn't make a triangle here, because 3 plus 6 is 9, which is less than 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10, but notice, you do not have an equal to part to your inequality. All you have is this greater than symbol.